Hi guys, this is Cash and I'm checking in with you from Frankfurt, Germany with Ignite Thermogenic Fat Burner. This is my little secret to keeping lean and having good energy throughout my busy days while I travel. So I want you guys to be sure to check out Ignite, especially if you're trying to get yourself in shape for this summer. Oh, Ignite is gonna get you into bikini body shape. You know, I gotta show you guys a bit of what's going on. Ignite is gonna help you get the results that you want. You're gonna love this product. I certainly do. So I'll put the link down below for the website. Be sure to check them out on Instagram and use my promo code to get great discounts. Check in with you guys soon. Guys, I just want to say the following video is not the greatest video. I answer questions, okay? I, um, this is now I'm doing this just, you know, tomorrow in the morning I'm going to uh, get my surgery on my throat, okay? But I did this video last, you know, 5 o'clock in the morning and I was on meds. I'm on gabapentin and I'm on a whole bunch of other medicines for the cancer, okay? And it made me really fucking chigod while I was doing the video. So, at the beginning of the video, you'll see I was normal Greg, but by the end of the video, I'm fucked up, okay? You know, because you, you'll see, you know, because the medicines were really kicking in. I was having trouble. I was actually editing the shit out of it because I'm yawning and I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm like fucking spacing out, okay? So, I just wanted to get this video in for you guys before I go into hospital. I, I'm hours away from going into hospital now, Okay? But I just wanted to get this out so you guys have something, you know, uh, it's not the greatest video, but I hope you enjoy it, all right? I'll see you when I get out in about a week. All right, here's the video. What's going on? Guys, listen to me. Give me a little bit of a break here. I'm doing this today, um, this is tomorrow morning. I'm doing this at 5 o'clock in the morning, all right? And tomorrow morning I go for surgery. So this is absolutely 100% the last video I'm going to do. But I wanted to get it in, okay, because I'm going to have a cancer surgery, the throat, and, uh, you know, I'll be in the hospital for, you know, a while. So I won't be able to, it might be like a week till I could do the videos again. So we'll see, okay? But I wanted to get this video in. And we have a new sponsor. And I really want to, I'm happy that they're a sponsor here, Chaos nutrition okay they're five percent guys bro they're they're the guys from five percent nutrition okay and they broke off and they have big frank with them who was rich piano one of rich piano's right hand men okay F big frank's a fucking monster i mean he was he made rich piano look like a dot he was small he's, he's a fucking giant rich piano uh big frank and he's with chaos nutrition and they're starting a movement they're trying to get they're trying to be like 5% used to be, okay, they got them, you know, it, it, you know, so it's, it's different, you know, they're, they're, because 5 percent changed so much and nobody, you know, a lot of people aren't happy, so if you you really want, if you were a 5 percent or you were into that or whatever, Chaos Nutrition, these are the guys, bro, these are rich pianist guys, the same guys from 5 percent, but they broke off, okay, again, Big Frank is one of them. Chaos Nutrition. So we welcome them here. And as soon, I don't know the products yet or any of that stuff. But as soon as they give me some information and whatever, you know, and maybe send me some samples or whatever, I don't know. You know, well, I'll be able to tell you more about what products they have. But right now, Chaos Nutrition. Google that. Go there. It's there. It's become part of the team because they're really kicking ass. And if you know Big Frank, bro, whew, if you don't know who he is, Google him. He's like 370 pounds, and he's not fat. He's 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, Bro, he dwarfs fucking piano. But anyway, so there we go. We welcome them, and we welcome my old girl, Brandy. Brandy Dollish, good friend. We, uh, you know, we did a thing together in 2003, her and I. I you probably can't see it. It's all this writing right there. You know, she wrote all this stuff to me. She gave me this video. Look. She gave me this. It's a 
troll back. She was saying that, you know, because we're friends, you know, I gave her my video too. But she's, she's, she's very pretty girl, very nice girl, okay, Brandy Doll. We did a thing 2003. Here we got old, I loved it, I love these magazines, dude, the girls were hot in this, but, you know, even though, uh, I, I'm, you know, did, I, I'm not into super jack chicks, but look at that, look at that, look at that, bro, who doesn't like that? Look at that. Look at that. Look at look at that can, bro. Whoa. I give her spam. You know what spam is? Ham in a can. But anyway, who is that? Shea Swagger. Jesus Christ, what an ass. Bro. Dude, I can't get sorry. Sorry, I can't look at can't. Oof, my own. That's anyway. The girl is Mariana Combo. She passed away right there. She's she was a nice girl. Look what a pretty girl, huh? I think she passed away from, I don't know, it was breast cancer or one of those. Look at the little, who are these girls, man? Holy shit. These girls are, there's some pretty girls in here. I'm trying to find, bro, I look, you know, it's just the, you know, this, you got all these, like, women's extravaganza girls and all that stuff. But, anyway, that's old school, baby. That's, that's woman's physique world. That's, like, fucking 20 years old, that one. And you got, look, dude, you want to talk about old? Look at this, look. We use this. This is, I don't know, I can't see because it's white letter. I, bro, you got to forgive me again. I'm going, getting up around tomorrow, so I'm really kind of shot right now. But anyway, look. Look how old this is. This is Muscle Mag. Robert Kennedy's Muscle Mag. Look how old it is. Look at the lettering. Look at it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the back. Look at the back. Look who it is. Frank Zane. Dude, who looks better in that pose than Frank Zane? Look at that. Bro. Unbelievable. I love all these. Oh, look, look at Vince Geronda. Look how old this shit is. This is all... Dude, this is all old school stuff. Look at... This is the way magazines... This is when magazines were good. Bro, this is... This is... Uh, look at it. Look at all... You remember Pumping Iron? Look, they're advertising Pumping Iron. Look at Franco Colombo laying in the bed right there. Pumping Iron. Look at... Okay. I love this shit. Look at this, all this old school stuff. I love all these old school ads. And look, remember the dude when magazines all had ads like this, look. Remember all the ads, look, the old school ads and shit. Sorry, bro, I, I know, I, you know. Remember that hand thing, look, 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 that hand thing right there. Remember that? Any of you guys remember that shit? I love all that. Even Arnold's young in this magazine. This, look, this is what guys used to look like back in the day. That's bodybuilding. Okay, that's when I got first in, got into bodybuilding. I love, I love, I love all this old school stuff, bro. Look, look at the, even the, look, the card. Look at that card that you, you send in to get the. That's that. Look at that. Okay. Great stuff. And here's another. We'll give you one more. Look, muscle mag. Ah! Muscle mag. Another Robert Kennedy muscle mag. Look, look at how old. Look at that. Is old. Look. Okay. On the back, that's no Frank Zane. I can tell you that. That's no Frank Zane. But, let me see what we got here. Let me see. Hold on. Who's in the middle? Oh, Jesus Christ. Hold on. Ready? Like, this is like the, you know, old school, bro. Old school. This is like, uh, I love all these things, though. Like, all the, look at, remember him? Steve Davis. Who doesn't remember Steve Davis? Remember from the old days? Steve Davis. Remember that? Remember him? Look at Steve Davis. I met him. He's a big guy. He's actually tall. You know, uh, look, look at all the old school. Look at Serge Nubray, boy, bro. Look at Serge Nubray. Look at that, Serge Nubray. All the old school ads and stuff. That's Muscle Mag. All right, guys. Let's get into some questions. Let me do this. I want to do. I'm doing this for the team, bro. You know what I mean? This is the last day. I'm gonna be able to do shit. Uh, you know, I'm going to be fucked up in a new hospital, so I'm really looking forward to that. I actually am. I just want to get it done. Oh, by the way, Paul DeMail, right there. Give me props right there, Paul DeMail. All right, let's get to that. some questions. How you doing? My name is John Sikoris, and this is Sharice Sikoris, and we're the owners of Titan Medical Center.
side here of root beer soda diet Sim it down. I know some of you guys don't like that, but I do. So, uh, feels good on the throat. Even, I don't have sore throat. I don't think I have to fucking. I just had surgery. Now I gotta have surgery again. <coughs> All right, uh, Greg. Right, this is by Emin Nunez. Greg, can you make a video? Talking about your current training routine, your current lifting routine. Sure. Listen to me. When you're younger, if you guys are young in your 20s, even 30s, I trained, you know, teenage too. I trained more frequent. I'm 60 years old. All right. Even though I'm in really good shape, I have to, you know, pace myself a little bit more. So my current training routine is I still go in the gym and I hang and I bang, okay? I like volume. So my current training routine is a lot of volume work, okay? I like to do lots of sets, lots of reps, uh, you know, and I do volume training, okay? I mean, I can't give you the exact amount of sets I do because, I, you know, every body part's different. But I can tell you this. I still train with the intensity like I was 20 years. Dude, if I was supposed to do 100 sets... And I do fucking 99. I feel like I cheated myself. I never go in the gym, even today, and ever say, I'm, you know what, I'm just going to go light today. I'm just going to go through the motions. I'm just going to, you know, a little bit. Of... Never, ever. When I go in the gym, it's balls to the walls. It's full tilt training, even at 60 years old, okay? I never give myself a discount. I don't go in. I won't go to the gym. If I can't go fucking, you know, if I can't go fucking full tilt, okay? It's all or nothing for me. And if I, I never miss workouts. But if I did, I would just double up the next day. Because I don't fuck around like that. Even today at 60 years old. The only thing is, I train each body part once a week. That's the difference between what I used to do. When I, tra I mean, when I was young, bro... I trained each body part three times a week. Bro, you have no idea. Listen to me. You have no idea. Back then, that was the way to do it. That's the way Schwarzenegger did it. That's the way everybody did each body part three times a week. I don't do... I was, you know, when I was a teenager into maybe like 21, 22 years old. Then I went to each body part two times a week, you know. And I did that all the way up until I was like maybe 50, you know. Uh, maybe 48 or something like that to close to 50. Somewhere around there, I did that. But I still do, I still, that's the frequency, the training frequency. But I still always did and always will do balls to the walls. In other words, I go in there and I, I, don't, I don't feel because I'm 60 years old. The only thing I don't do is heavy anymore because I eat joints. Nobody can lift weights. Dude, trust me. I don't give a shit who you are. I started working out in 1972, Okay. My shoulder's barking a little bit right now. It's a little fucked up. It's a little sore. So that's so why I'm moving around like that. But, uh, you know, I don't, I don't f fucking give myself no discounts. It, I don't care who you are, though. If you fucking been lifting weights as long as I have since 1972, all right? And it's that's almost fucking 50 fucking years, all right? You're not going to be able to lift heavy. Sorry. So I don't care who you are. Nobody. It doesn't, you can't, so. Oh, I know this guy at my gym, he's fucking 65 and he benches, God bless him, okay? But I'm telling you, he can't, and most people can't do that, all right? And he ain't been lifting as long as me, or he's taking periods off. I've never taken periods off. Yeah, listen to me. That's me. That doesn't mean you have to do that. So, you're asking me, I mean, you're asking me, you know, like, can I talk about how I train today? And I'm telling you, I, you know, I, I use a working weight. All right, that you know puts makes the muscle do the work. That's the key. Make your muscle do the work. All right, not just some fucking you know cheek curls and shit. That I, I want to isolate, you know, because I want that muscle to do the work. Whatever body part I'm training on, that I isolate that muscle more. Okay, and I use. A lot of machines. I like machines. Dorian Yates used machines in his heyday, in his prime. Okay? I think he's... I don't even think he's... I think I don't remember if he squat. I know he squatted, I think, on a Smith machine. Or he didn't squat at all. I don't know. He used to use Smith machine for shit. I forget. Uh, my brain is shot, you know? I mean, I got a lot of other shit, you know, 
twisted in my head right now. So, but I'm a trooper. I'm getting a video done for you guys, all right? And for Muscle Sport Mag, because I love everybody, and I love Muscle Sport Mag, and I love Chaos Nutrition, who's our new sponsor. So there you go, I mean, I mean, I, I still train the same way I did, and uh, I, I, I don't do heavy weights anymore. I just do fucking volume training. I isolate the muscle, and I do do a lot of machine work. Because, it, it, you know, that's it. it's harder on the joints to do the fucking free weights and start really pushing heavy weights. I've been doing it for almost 50 years. All right, next question. All right, listen. Yo mama is a bitch. Very nice, uh, very nice screen name. Very good. Hey, Greg, John here. All right, John. Yo mama is a bitch. As a biatch. Sorry, that's how he's, he says biatch. Uh, I'm 45 years old and going to do a let going going to do a test and D-ball cycle. It's all underground gear. The D-ball comes in 50 milligram capsules. Uh, is that too much to take at one time? Should I should I should I open it up and eat half the dose or mix it in water? Not my first cycle, but it's been a while. Thanks. Wow. Uh, I never heard of 50 milligram t ball capsules. I'm old school, bro. I noticed some of you guys, no, no, dude, they make them really good today. And I, listen, when I was younger, the d balls were like 5 milligrams. It is different today, okay? And to take, um, I mean, take a 50 milligram capsule, it's a lot of d ball. You know what I mean? That would be 10 of the old Diana balls today. And that's a lot, you know? Um, I, I mean, you could break it up with opening up capsules. I just don't like that. I never heard of that shit. Again, I'm old school. I, maybe I'm not going to I'm not gonna give you the answer that you want to hear. I mean, opening up capsules, you can't... It's very hard because you can't regulate how much you're actually getting out of it. You know what I mean? It... You can't measure it. You don't really know. If each day you're going to get a different dose. I don't know. I, I I mean, you're asking me a question. It's very hard for me to answer because I, I again I don't I don't like the whole. You get an underground shit, bro. I don't like the whole fucking capsule fucking deep ball thing. You know, can't you find a good deep ball or something? You know, I know that they they did make them up to ten mil, fifty milligrams for one capsule. This shit just wasn't around when I was, you know, in my day, when I was doing this shit, you know, like that. It, was, it wasn't around. You didn't have 50 milligram D-balls, and you certainly didn't have capsules. Now, I know some guys, no, no, they, they, there was a company making 50 milligram D-balls. Listen to me. Simmer down there, fucking Horatio, okay? It's not, believe me, that was bootleg shit. You're getting underground stuff, I get it. I get it, but I can't guarantee you that that shit's legit. I wouldn't take it. It's just me. You know what I mean? I'd, I'd have to do it. I was taking the Metana balls. Whew, my God. I don't remember the milligrams on them, but I can tell you this. The Polish D ball came in the strips. Orange strips, and they were like 10 on the top. Oh, my God. Bro. That shit was beautiful. But you couldn't take no 10 of them. Fuck it. You fuck kill you. You rot your liver. I, I don't know. I mean, if you really, if you're looking at fucking dose the D ball, and you're gonna take half of them, and you could fucking find a way to get half the capsule, legit half the capsule, and do that every day, so it's not like choppy. Do it, you know. But I, I you're asking me. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I wish I could help you a little bit more, but I don't know about that stuff. Oh, by the way, okay, yeah, John. You know, all right, John, I'm sorry. I, I wish I could do better for this, you know, but I, I can't. I just don't know enough about that D-ball, you know. I just know I don't the capsules. Is, I get it, you're saying it's underground, but I just don't. I don't know how legit that shit is. And I can't, I don't know how you open that shit. You know, like, I don't know how you could fucking regulate your dose. I just, I just don't know. Whatever. All right, sorry. I feel like I failed you, but... You know, I'd be bullshitting you. I mean, I could go on the internet and read, do shit like some of these other guys do, but it's, I'm not going to do that. You want my experience? My experience is with pills. 
You know, I like the Russian D ball. I had the fucking Thailand D balls. They were a little wishy washy. I liked the fucking Dominican D balls, which were three milligrams. I liked the fucking. But my favorite was Matana ball. All right, there you go. Here's another question. Um, I can't. I can't fucking see, bro. Hot. Hot Wheel 66. Greg, do you still bench or only do dumbbells and machines? I do not. I I bench a little, but not for weights. I just do. I put light weight on there and just, you know, I rep it out and, and I do neck presses and stuff for upper chest. You know, like I bring the bar like this to the neck, you know, straight out. And that, you know, flat. And that helps do the upper pecs and kinds of ties in my delts and everything with the upper pecs. And then, you know, do regular flat. But I do it on a Smith machine, and I don't put a lot of weight on it. I can't. I won't be able to do it. My elbows will snap off and hit the walls. Um, I do I do dumbbells, uh, a little bit of dumbbells for, like, um, you know, shoulder work or whatever, you know, traps and stuff like that. I, I You know, if I... I could do dumbbells, like concentration curls. I like that. Uh, but most of the time, I do mostly machines. A lot of machines. Um, I, I'm picky about that. I like to isolate. Machines are great isolating. Today, they got some fucking great machines, too. But you have to remember. Wait, who asked me this? Hot Wheel 66. You have to remember, I'm older. It would be different if I was 20s or 30s. But I'm 60, okay? And uh, it's easier to just get in a machine and fucking curl or whatever you do, you know? I mean, I, you know, leg press, I use it on squat. You know, I, I mean, it's easier for me that way. If I was younger, it might be a different story. So you're asking an older guy, do I still do that? That's how I train. I do mostly machines. I do do bench, but I don't do it heavy. I, I Anything less than 10 reps to me is, you know, and I, I don't even, I can't, I can't lift any heavy weight. So, there we go. Sorry, I feel like I'm, I'm not doing too good with these questions. I'm not doing good answering them. PaulSquires.com uh, Do you have any tips on cardio and any stories about Vince Gironda? I believe he liked, he loved liver caps. All right. Let me go with the ladder first. Yes, Vince Gironda did like liver caps. Everybody took liver caps. He had everybody taking that shit. I took them, too. They're good. You know, it, basically, it's a protein to buy when you take that stuff. But, you know, the thought process is it's like taking, like, desiccated thyroid and shit actually will actually help improve the thyroid. The liver caps actually, like cells, help like cells. And it, you're actually, it's almost like eating liver for your liver. You understand what I'm saying? Because basically it's desiccated liver, which is like a dried fucking liver. It's really good, bro. Uh, you know, a lot of bodybuilders like it. It supposedly helps, you know, your red blood cells, and it definitely fucking helps your liver. Okay, uh, so it's a good thing. Vince Gironda, I have yeah, I've met Vince, but I I didn't know him. we weren't buddies or any of that stuff. And uh, I do know that he would freak out like he didn't like guys squatting in the gym or whatever. You know, he was crazy like that. You know, he tore you out of the gym. Uh, if you didn't do things his way, you know, he was, he was a little eccentric, but he was, he was good, he knew his shit, and he, and he helped a lot of bodybuilders get their start, I mean, he'd have you drinking protein shakes with heavy cream and, and, and things like that, you know, he was, he was, he was a pioneer, man, he was a pioneer of bodybuilding, I, again, I met him, I have pictures of him, but I, I didn't, I wasn't buddies with him, you know, my friend Bob Bonham trained in his gym all the time, for a while there, and you know, like, so Bob knew him very well, and he said, Vince was a very, uh, he, you know, he, he was a very intense guy, to say the least, you know, if you pissed him off, he'd take it the fuck out of the gym, if you did something he didn't like, yeah, get out, the fuck out, that's the way he was, if he didn't like you bench pressing, you would bench or something crazy, like squatting, I think squat was one of the things he had a problem with, get out, get the fuck out, it was like that, you know, um, and you ask about cardio tips. I, I, cardio is phenomenal. Okay, it's great. But I think they do it. Uh, I feel if you do too much cardio before the workout, I like. I would do a little cardio first. 
to warm myself up and really get the, the blood in the muscles and in the joints and everything. I think that. But to do full cardio, like I would just do like five, ten minutes of that just to get my body warmed up and I'd have a great workout. But to really get the weight loss and all, I would wait till after I'm done training and then do it either again and this time do like, you know, an hour or so is good. Uh, you know, I, I, I like to, you know, a little bit jogging on a treadmill is the best. You know, it, it, you just want an even pace and you get your heart rate up. Uh, I could also sit on a bike, but I, I, I'm, I'm a runner by, you know, tr by natural, you know, I was a natural runner. So I think running is, you know, is to me is the most superior thing that you could do. I mean, running is swimming, but I, I'm not going to swim at a fucking, at a, at a gym or a club or any shit. You know, but I'm just saying, running and swimming is the best things you could do. You know, swim laps, you know, I'm not talking about like sitting and doing like breaststroke and shit. You know what I mean? Or a little doggy paddle, whatever they call that shit. You know, I'm talking about, you know, real deal running. You know, I used to run wind sprints, that's the best. You know, it's you sprint 100 yards and you walk back 100 yards. And you sprint 100 yards and I walk back 100 yards. And you sprint 100 yards and walk back. That is just, dude, that's cardio on fucking steroids right there. It's the best, so. Alright. There you go. So this, that's that's that. Alright, Brian Pablo wants to know, what are your thoughts on taking collagen supplements? It's more, it, it's, it's more likely a longevity question. I see it everywhere, and it's been around a while. Is it worth a try? Yeah, it's worth a try. I mean, I have taken collagen in the past. It's got, you know, a different amino profile than, you know, like branch chains and all that stuff. But and it's not really essential amino acids, but it's, it's pretty good, you know. And, and, and it, it's good for the hair, nails, skin, all that stuff. It's good, supposedly helps you lose weight a little bit, little fat. It's good to lose weight with and stuff. You know, it helps you lose weight, you know, just it, because it makes your body more efficient. Anything that makes your body more efficient is good like that. I mean, give it a try. Everybody's different. Uh, you know, right now, you know, it's almost like a fad thing. It's, and not that it doesn't work, but people kind of jump on that bandwagon for a while and then they'll jump on another bandwagon after that's done. Do you understand what I'm saying? So... You know, I, I mean, I, I would say to you give it a little bit of a try. It's not bad, you know. It, it works. It's it, it's a good, clean, you know, it's a protein supplement, you know, as well. You know what I mean? It's it's good. I, mean, I don't know what you want me to tell you about it. I would give it a try. I liked it. What did I notice from it? I felt like I got a little bit leaner. Okay. Basically, that's what I liked. All right. I felt like I got a little bit leaner, and I felt it recuperated me a little bit better. There you go. So I liked it. All right, guys. So that's it. All right, that's it for this month. So let me think really fast what they learned. Look, look. I told you I'm doing this at five in the morning. It's like six in the morning now, and uh, you know, the fucking I had to take something that helps me sleep, but I'm fucking getting like, like this. So don't mind me. All right. Uh, what did we learn? All right. First of all, we learned. You know, I still train the same way. With intensity, but I mostly lift, you know, machines and some free weights, not a lot, you know what I mean? And um, I like to get my reps up, and I, I still do high volume. The only difference is I train once a week, instead, not once a week, each body part once a week. I do, I train every day, except for each body part once a week, okay? Whereas I used to train each body part three times a week as a teenager up till about 21, 22, 23. And then after that, I started training each body part twice a week. Uh, what else did we fucking learn? Um, we learned that Greg took his fucking sleeping medicine and he's getting a little sleepy right now. I'm a little chigod. So, what else did I say? Because um, remember, I'm getting a surgery tomorrow. I'm fucking shot, bro. Uh, we also learned that this guy, you know, about taking D ball. Uh, D ball. Bro, I never heard of 50 milligram capsules. It wasn't around when I was younger. Uh, you know, you're asking me. I can't really give you a great answer with that shit. You want to open up the caps and fucking try to dose yourself, you know, maybe half dose or whatever, you know. You could do it, but I don't see how it's going to be accurate like that, you know. 
You'd have to, you know, and I don't even think that those capsules are accurate. I feel like some guy fucking filled them himself and, I don't know, whatever. But I don't like that whole D-Bowl thing. I don't like that. Uh, what else did we fucking learn? Um, do I still bench? Yeah, yeah, I still bench, but I don't bench heavy anymore. I bench for work. I use a working weight that I can get reps out of. That's what we learn. Uh... What else did we learn? You're to, uh, I, we learned that Vince Ronda was a madman, and to do con and, and if you want to do cardio, the best you can do a little bit before to warm up, okay? But the best you really want to fucking, you know, really get the cardio kicking in. Sprint, bro. Sprint 100 yards and walk 100 yards. And sprint 100 yards and walk back 100 yards. Do that, and you watch what happens. You'll get leaner, and it actually gives you blood in the legs like you won't believe. I love it, and. uh my thoughts on collagen supplements, they're good. They're not bad at all. They're not bad. I've taken them. <clears throat> I felt like I got leaner on them. I felt, you know, I felt good. I didn't feel bad at all. Uh, I, I, I noticed that I, I got a little leaner. And my muscle was leaner, more dense. And, uh, you know, I felt like, you know, I got the whole everything, you know, skin and nails, all that shit. Everything felt a little bit better. Maybe it was placebo. Maybe it was in my head. I don't know. But anyway. So that's it for this week, guys. Listen, I got to get that operation in so many hours I'm going out of here. Uh, I'm a little too god right now because the fucking meds are kicking in. I'm like, you know, so I'm signing off. I love you guys. You don't have to fucking tell me, you know, you wish me the best. I appreciate it. I, I know that you do. Okay? I put your, column, your comments here. That's what I want to see. Your comments here, your questions here. Ask me some good shit, and I'll answer it, okay? But for now, I'm like fucking... Okay, I'm like... Real fuck, real fuck. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm fucked up right now, you know, because I took some fucking meds, so, you know, to calm me down. Because I'm going to be going in, you know, hospital, so... All right? Be good to you, girl. Be good to your significant other. Stop fucking around with your child support. Stop fucking around, period. I'll see you guys maybe in a week. I'll be out and everything. Chaos Nutrition, thank you again. Big Frank's there. A lot of guys from all Rich Piana's boys are now, they left because 5% gave them the buff on Google. And they left. Okay? Now they're with fucking Chaos Nutrition. And it's starting the movement, so. All right? All right. Stop fucking around. I'll see you next week. Titan Medical Center, we are here to make you feel better, look better, and perform better. We're here to get you to your optimal levels in the most natural way possible. We are a boutique style clinic without the boutique style costs. All medications are monitored and prescribed by a physician. Let us help you get the results you've been wanting. Come to Titan Medical Center for the most cutting edge therapies and the most current information on how to take the most natural approach to your health.